How, how big of a win is that for the club with, with Nathan out and the fashion of the victory tonight? Yeah, like, um, so it's pulled up to and it was like, all right, well, at some point we need to learn what it looks like to win without him. And, you know, he wanted to be out there, um, but it was one of those that played tonight with Sunday still sitting there and chances are he's out longer than he needs to be. So, um, yeah, it was a good opportunity for us to really show the progression that we've had. And, you know, just so proud of the boys. Like, that was a tough game. Like, Tassie were outstanding. Um, you know, possession, like, that thing was a wrestle. And um, to stay the course, to find our way, awesome by Chris to come in off injury, um, jump in that starting role and, and be someone that we knew we could depend on to, to give us that scoring rate we were missing was, was great. So, but again, like, you know, we had contribution from everyone across the board and that's, again, the pleasing thing for us. Before I delve in that more, if, do you think Sobe will play Sunday? Yeah, we're really hopeful on it. It was uh, definitely, um, like, he was close today, to be honest, but, yeah, we just didn't want to put him at risk where it, turned into something that we, we don't want it to be. So, yeah, full confidence he'll be there Sunday. What is it exactly? Oh, I'll sore get my physio in here and tell you, yeah, sore foot's <laughs> the best, and that's my level of it. But um, just like Jordy Hunter landed on his foot on a bad angle, stretched the tendon a little, uh, a little soft, but um, in the underneath the, the belly of the foot, I guess. So, no, he'll be fine. Uh, the, the play call for Chris, was that the plan? Just give him the whole side of the floor and let him work? Yeah, kind of like <laughs> I originally like he's so effective in the post, and so we knew if he got it down the the block that we were going to be in good good shape. And then if he needed to get on the bounce because of a double, we were pretty confident there. So I wasn't expecting to hit a three. I'll be honest about that. I thought you know there might be a mid range going up, but um, you know that's the trust we have in him. We see him do it every day at practice. Like there's no one in that spot that we 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 wouldn't put the ball in more. Yeah. If what that sounds that? right. What did that shot feel like to you? Scarl said that they were supposed to foul you, had a bunch of fouls to give, but when mm -hmm. you saw Drimmick in front of you, you had a whole side to yourself. Mm -hmm. What did you see there and how did it feel when it went in? Oh man, I mean, it felt great. I mean, I, I shot it like it was nothing to lose, tie game, so just do what I do every day in practice. Um, you saw your bench basically from you know, 1 to 13, basically, give you something. Yeah. Uh, does this give you a sense of what this team could be? If, you may be thinking that like, if you drop Sobe into what these guys just did and the way they operated, you can sort of see just the ceiling of this team. Yeah, like we've uh, we very rarely had everyone healthy this season. So there's been a lot of times where guys have had to play minutes that maybe weren't we weren't ready for. You know, like Bainesy had a stretch out, Bannon had a stretch out. Shannon had a stretch out, Chris has missed. Like, so there's been different things that we've had to rely on throughout, and I think that's helped us now. Um, you know, those experiences and, and being in the fire and, and figuring things out on the, on, the, on the run has been good for us. But, yeah, we've always believed in our depth, and, you know, I don't think others believe in it as much as we do, and, you know, we've got a next man up mentality. You know, there was no lack of confidence in the group today, and, you know, we know how great an offensive team Tasmania are and to hold them under 80 you know that's what we want to hang our hat on and that's what was only spoken about today it wasn't you know so 20 points that are missing it was like all right let's lock down defensively and you know that's so such a proud moment for me to to know that that's where we go to first so it was something you did against Sydney you did it tonight as well as a high volume three-point shooting team held them to 16 attempts from out there what's it like having this group you know, back to back really high effort defensive games against teams that are above you on a ladder. Yeah, like, um, you know, we've had a huge frustration in the games we've let slip this year. And, that, you know, some of that's on me. Some of that's been just we, we haven't performed to the level we need to be. Um, but, you know, there's nine games there, single-digit losses. So we've always felt we're right there. And what I feel in these last probably three, four games is a genuine understanding of what winning needs to look like possession by possession. And... You know, the, the advantage we had is, like, this game plan was very similar to Sydney, you know, similar styles in what they need to be able to get the win. Um, so with a quick turnaround, that became our advantage. And I guess we just sold that one. And, yeah, just the guys really believing in what we're doing is has been great. Do you feel like, sorry, yeah, compared to, like, you had your struggles earlier in the year as a team, mm. closing out tonight, the game was out of the one. Like, what's the difference? Can you put that into words, how different it feels? 
I mean, like Coach says, I mean, he says it to us every day, just keep pounding the rock. I mean, even in those tight games, you know, we, we stay true to ourselves and as we did tonight. So, I mean, it's about time it starts paying off for us a little bit. So, yeah, it's a great win. Chris, can you give us an idea of what it's like playing with Josh? And uh, not just him as a player where his skill set is really pronounced, but also just him as like a leader for someone so young. I mean, he's he's very vocal. I mean, I don't think at that age I was that vocal. I mean, he's a great guy, you know, on and off the court. And, yeah, you can just kind of just give him the ball and let him work. And, you know, he's a workhorse, so he's a great player. Uh, was What was the play call when you threw it into Casey in the mid-post? And are you now realizing that you have a bunch of different guys who can create advantages yeah. now you have this version of it to in Casey in, in little stretches? Yeah, like he was, you know, 55% in the post in his last season, so we, there was a lot of trust there, and just an opportunity came where we could go to it, um, just a wrinkle out of one of our actions, but he was a guy that I just wanted him to see the ball go through the net, because I think that's part of his progression as well, to know it's not just one game, you've, you've been able to have an impact, now here's a second one, and you know he's still on his minutes restriction tonight, so it was like, let's just try and um, milk that one as much as we can in the moment, so no, great for him to, to be able to get the ball and, and make it the way we want it. His idea was Rocco on the inbounder in that last possession. I honestly don't know. Uh, there was three different voices going at me with it. Um, yeah, and the, the great job by Greg Vanderjack to know exactly what they go to. Um, so, you know, like, I mean, he's the, the biggest kid in the, the country, so we might as well use it in that moment. And, um, yeah, just great recognition by our staff to know what, what they're going to and great execution by the boys to, to make it a tough shot. Do you, um, Casey, is Casey going up in minutes? Yeah, I, I mean, it's a it's a, a meeting tomorrow to, to determine that. But for me, it's he's definitely going up. Um, but no, like as I keep saying, it it is a little bit of a slow burn for him to make sure that come playoff time, and that's our expectation that we will be one of those teams that um, you know he's able to give us the twenty plus minutes we need. So yeah, we're being smart, but yeah, absolutely, I expect more more from him in that one. What's the key to keeping this rhythm rolling going into Illawarra? The team that is right around the same area as you in the ladder. Yeah, like I mean, Chris said it, like pounding the rock, and you know, we use habits as our our checkpoint daily. And um, you know, we really believe in when we're we're accountable to those things, that things will continue to go our way. And we've had a couple of losing streaks this year where we've been tested with that, and we've come out the other way. And so right now we're getting some some fruits and rewards for it, um, but we're also really big on at the minute staying in the moment. And that's the key for us right now. Uh, you know, this is a great win for our club. Another series win for us, which is a, a big tick for us. Um, but, yeah, we don't want to get too high. We'll enjoy tonight and then tomorrow it's get to work on Illawarra. And that's what I love about our group is we, we, we're learning what winning looks like and, um, and those habits that we need to have. Chris, jump in. Yeah, Chris, um, Justin all season long has talked about the faith he has in your shooting ability and how he wants you to take all the shots that you can and he's always surprised when you miss a shot. How good for you is it as a shooter to have the faith, have that faith from your coach? I mean, it's great. I said at the interview after the game, I mean, he's always, you know, has faith in me no matter how much I've been struggling or anything like that. He's just always telling me to continue to shoot. So, you know, it's <laughs> keep pounding the rock, like he says, just keep doing what I do best and eventually they'll fall like they did tonight. How much faith do you have in what this team can do from now? You've won three in a row. You've gone into into fifth, fifth spot. And you've got some real momentum. I mean, how much faith do you have that this team can can keep this rolling? Oh, I mean, a lot, a lot of faith. I mean, like Coach said, we're learning how to win um, through tough spots like like tonight. So just keep on doing what we need to do. Thanks. Thanks very much. That's it from me. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Great. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Oof.